In this video, we will begin solving age problems, where we attempt to find the age of individuals at a given point in time. To help us organize our information, we will put everything in a table. In the first column, we will list the two individuals we are considering. In the second column, we will put the information we have about their age right now. We will then consider some type of change in time. In the last column, we will add or subtract the amount of change occurring. Once we have the table filled in, we will consider an equation for either the past or the future. This equation, combined with the table, will allow us to answer the questions. Let's consider an example where we can see this work out. Here, we see that we are comparing two people. We are comparing Sue and Brian. Right now, we see that Sue is five years younger than Brian. This tells us nothing about Brian, so he will be our variable. Sue is five years younger. To show each five years younger than x, we simply have to subtract five from x. Next, we are told in seven years. This moves us seven years in the future. This means we have to add seven to the Sue cell and the Brian cell. x minus five plus seven will give us x plus two. When we add seven to Brian's cell, we simply get x plus seven. Now, we can consider the rest of the sentence. The sum of their ages is forty-nine. This means Sue plus Brian is going to equal forty-nine years in the future. So we can replace Sue with Sue's information from the future, x plus two. We can also replace Brian with Brian's information from the future x plus seven. This equals forty-nine. This gives us an equation we can quickly solve. First, we can combine like terms. Two x plus nine equals forty-nine. Subtracting nine from both sides will give us two x equals forty. Dividing both sides by two will tell us that x equals twenty. Recall from our table, we said x was Brian's age. Sue is x minus five, or twenty minus five. This means Sue is fifteen years, and Brian is twenty years. Let's consider another example, where we can build a table and an equation to answer the age problem. In this problem, we are comparing two new people. In this problem, we have Maria and Sonia. What we know about their age right now is that Maria is ten years older than Sonia. This tells us nothing about Sonia, so she is our variable. Maria is ten years older, meaning we have to add ten to x, or Sue's age. The next part of our sentence tells us the change in time. Eight years ago, we must subtract eight from both cells giving us x plus two and x minus eight for Maria and Sue's age. The rest of the sentence will give us our equation. Maria was, or equals, three times Sonia's age. Again, we can replace Maria with the Maria information from the past, x plus two. Equals three times Sonia's age in the past was x minus eight. This now gives us an equation we can quickly solve to answer the problem. First, we distribute, and x plus two equals three x minus twenty-four. Move the variable to one side by subtracting x, gives us two equals two x minus twenty-four. Adding twenty-four to both sides gives us twenty-six equals two x. Finally, dividing both sides by two, tells us that x equals thirteen. x is what we had for Sonia's age. Maria is x plus ten, or thirteen plus ten. Maria is twenty-three years old. Sonia is thirteen years old. And that completes our problem. By setting up our table with the given information, the amount of change that occurs in an equation for the future or past, we can quickly solve an age problem. 